One of the most mysterious pieces of lore from Adventure Time is the Mother Gum, an entity that gives birth to one of the most intriguing characters of this series. And what if I told you we actually have a lot more information about the Mother Gum that you might not know? Over the course of this video, I will dive into the mysteries of the Mother Gum, unpacking its lore and its significance throughout this series. So let's get started. But first, if you're new here or have seen my content before, please hit the subscribe button. If you like Adventure Time or just enjoy my content, hitting the subscribe button will be a huge support. Now, without any further ado, let's jump right into the fascinating lore of the mother gum. Let's start with the very first time we see the mother gum and work our way up from there. The very first time we see her is in the episode Simon and Marcy from season 5 episode 14. This is when we get a flashback to Marceline's early days with Simon as her protector. She falls ill and Simon is determined to find some chicken noodle soup for her to make her feel better. We need to get you some chicken soup. On his quest he spots what he thinks might be a place to get some chicken noodle soup. A food truck. Might be chicken soup inside there. That pink stuff? Yeah, the pink stuff he climbs on? That's the very first time we see the mother gum. How do we know that this pink goo is the mother gum? Because later on in the episode, after Simon has to resort to the crown to keep him and Marcy safe, a can of chicken noodle soup and a can opener drop to the ground. Who got the chicken noodle soup? The camera pans up and it's the mother gum. This time with a face who smiles at Simon after giving him the chicken noodle soup. I found chicken soup. You're gonna feel awesome in a moment. I'm just glad you're okay. From the very first interaction we see with the mother gum, it's a very positive interaction, which is something to note down. And I'll bring it up later as an explanation on how the mother gum even came to be. But let's move on. The next and the last time, well, maybe last time, we see the mother gum is in the season seven episode one titled Bonnie and Nettie. You know, this is the episode where Princess Bubblegum lost control of her kingdom after being outvoted by her citizens. <laughs> and lost to the King of U. Finn and Jake swore to protect the Candy Kingdom, so they had to stay with the King of U and be his servants. He finds a door labeled Extreme Danger and is too scared to open it, so he tasks Finn and Jake to explore it for him. Turns out, it's just a family of expired banana guards. I love you. I love you too. Hey, there's stairs back here. But they go deeper, and what they find is truly amazing. It's a candy dragon. Look. Well, what we now know to be Nettie. King of Wu only wants to profit off of Nettie, but Finn and Jake don't agree, so they go see Princess Bubblegum about it. The King of Wu doesn't care and still wants to profit off of Nettie. However, he scares Nettie, and Nettie flees the Candy Kingdom. Finn and Jake catch up to Princess Bubblegum, and after telling her, she remembers. <gasps> oh no, this is all my fault, Nettie and gives us the backstory of her, Nettie, and the mother gum. Strap in folks, this is where things start getting good. We finally get to see how Princess Bubblegum and Nettie were born in a flashback on their way back to Ooh. Bonnie is seen falling from the ceiling of an abandoned building housing the mother gum. Nettie falls next, but he lands on a stalagmite and, frightened and hurt, squirms out of the building and into the wilderness, coming across a tree in an open field and starts sucking its roots. Bonnie shows up and tries to comfort him with the butterfly, which only frightens him even more. She then hugs him and clicks her tongue, which causes a glow to emanate from both of them. The scene zooms out to show that this field is the same one where the future Candy Kingdom will be built. Meanwhile, in the present, Nettie stumbles around in the wilderness and hides at a cave. Bonnie tracks down Nettie to the cave using her bod rod, which is calibrated to their sister brother Bond. She goes in alone and manages to calm Nettie down and lure him to sleep. She then wraps him in a blanket and flies him back to his chamber in the Candy Castle. He wakes up and begins to suck root vitamins, restoring the flow of candy juice to the kingdom. This is the the last time we hear about the mother gum in the series itself. More on that later. This episode gives us a lot of important information that we need and can use to piece together a story for the mother gum, Princess Bubblegum and Nettie. The first one and most obvious one being that Nettie is the sole reason the Candy Kingdom is thriving and Nettie was born from the mother gum, meaning that the mother gum is the sole reason that the Candy Kingdom is thriving. Yes, Princess Bubblegum built up the kingdom from the ground up, but it's all centered around the tree in which Nettie resides. If it weren't for Nettie, or even if it weren't for the mother gum, the Candy Kingdom wouldn't even be a thing. Now, remember how I said that this was maybe the last time we see the mother gum? Well, I wasn't lying. We get a ton of lore and information about the mother gum in the Adventure Time Explore the Dungeon because I don't know video game. This came as a huge surprise to me, but this video game reveals pretty much exactly what happened to the mother gum. The video game reveals that Princess Bubblegum locked the mother gum away in the dungeon of her newly constructed kingdom to keep them safe. After, 
mother, she was born from the mother gun. 1,000 years later, and one day, several dangerous criminals suddenly escape from the Candy Kingdom's underground dungeons. So, Princess Bubblegum has her allies explore the dungeon to find out what's going on. Eventually, they discover that the mother gun, who has been locked up for centuries, has seeped into the structure of the dungeon and weakened the doors, allowing the prisoners to escape. The explorers find themselves forced to fight the mother gum, and after the battle, it is unable to remain bound as one entity. The mother gum destabilizes and turns into bubbles and floats away. The bubbles are yelling stuff like, as they drift away. Very sad. But isn't that crazy? All that time wondering about the mother gum when it's been in a game for over 10 years. You might be wondering though, is it canon? We know the comics aren't canon, so is this game canon? Surprisingly, it is. I did a lot of research for this video and it seems that people have agreed that this game is indeed canon. This also might be what the bubbles are in the intro when we fly by the Candy Kingdom. They aren't pink, but they could be a remembrance of the mother gum, blowing bubbles to remember PB's parents. Now you also might be asking, we now know the middle and end of the Mother Gum saga. What about the start? Unfortunately, we don't have any video games that reveal the lore this time. This is where we strap on our imagination caps and start speculating. But I think I might know, but then again, I might be wrong. So leave your comments about it. So if you remember way back to the start of the video where I say, from the very first interaction we see with the Mother Gum, it's a very positive interaction. Well, this is it. This time period is right after the whole mushroom conflict and the land is infested with oozers. These zombie-like creatures, very obviously bad that got mutated from the whole mushroom conflict. Now, I think the mother gum is just mutated like the oozers. After all, we see them coexisting in the same post-apocalyptic land of Oo. But this time, instead of standing for evil, like the oozers very obviously do, the mother gum stands for good and tries to balance out the oozers bad. Think back to the very first interaction we see with the mother gum. It's helping out Simon and Marcy by giving them chicken noodle soup. I don't think that that's just a random one-off thing to throw into this episode. I think the creators put that in for a reason, trying to show us that the mother gum started off as a mutation just like the oozers, but stood for good instead of evil. Although you could say that BB ended up being evil, but that's a whole other can of worms that I'm not gonna open today. And there you pretty much have it, the riveting tale of the mother gum, spanning from the cataclysmic post-mushroom conflict era through the rise of the Candy Kingdom, to its eventual dispersion into the ether of the Adventure Time universe. You've explored her initial appearances, dug into her cryptic appearances in the Adventure Time, explored the dungeon because I don't know video game, and even speculated about her mysterious origins in the implications of her actions. Now don't forget, the essence of the Mother Gum, although sometimes overshadowed, resonates deeply within the Adventure Time universe. She's not just the origin of one of the key characters, Princess Bubblegum, but an embodiment of a powerful force of good amidst the turbulence. It's these stories, the undercurrents beneath the main plot, that give a show like Adventure Time its rich, intricate world building and lasting appeal. Now we might have traced the narrative of the Mother Gum up to this point, but in the world of Adventure Time, every end could potentially be a new beginning. Whether it's in the form of subtle hints like the floating bubbles in the intro, or the prospects of uncovering more lore in the future content. Spirit of the Mother Gum seems destined to continue permeating the universe. So how's that for a tale of epic beginnings, heroic survival, and the never-ending cycle of stories? If you've got any theories or comments, I'd love to hear them. Did I get something wrong? Did I totally miss something? Please let me know. Let's keep this discussion going. And before you go, remember to smash the like button if you enjoyed our journey today. And if you're new here or haven't done so yet, please hit subscribe. It supports the channel and ensures you won't miss out on any future lore dives or episode analysis. If you enjoyed this video, you won't want to miss out on this video where I deep dive into the forgotten best episode of Adventure Time. What I uncover is truly fascinating and something you probably don't want to miss. But as always my friends, stay adventurous.